He was 0 for 6 on those throws of 50, or 20 yards or more last night. He's getting back to that point where he's not making the throws. There's no confidence in those deep balls. This offense has to have those plays if they want to be successful in the playoffs. It felt like a little bit of a shocker there. Greg, through a quarterback's eyes, what did you see? Well, Brady, guys, it was not good from him by any stretch. But part of the problem is the fact that the pressure that they were applying up front along the defensive line was absolutely atrocious. I mean, he has guys in his lap, and he used to be able to pull off those throws that you just talked about even with guys in his lap. Look, the storybook on Brady has always been, hey, move him off a spot, see if you can hit him. He's going to be a different guy if you can do both those things. Well, he used to still be able to execute those throws maybe half the time. Now, he misses a throw. He has to adjust his arm angle, and it's brutal. But you look at the third quarter, guys. First 20 plays of the game, really nice. The third quarter, y'all, I thought I was watching the Chicago Bears. Ooh. It was absolutely <laughs> atrocious offensively. The plan was bad. They weren't smart with protections. Brady had no opportunities. And as soon as they took Jalen Ramsey and put him on Mike Evans, they ramped up the physicality that you saw from the, from the Rams secondary, and they had absolutely no answer. I just really, really hated their second-half plan and their inability to make adjustments. Brady was off the mark. Bruce Arians was off the mark. The receivers couldn't separate, and the offensive line couldn't protect. But other than that, you know, it was a pretty solid night. <laughs> Great. So yeah, I'm thinking back over the course of the season, the primetime games they've had this year. They lose to the Bears on a Thursday night. They get obliterated by New Orleans. They barely beat the Giants. They may have gotten a, a fortunate bad call at the end to hold on. And then last night, they lose here. And Dan Graziano, you were telling me that you were texting with some scouts and others watching. What were they telling you they were seeing? Yeah, one thing that stood out to me, uh, somebody said that the, the Buccaneers coaches are not doing a good enough job of, on early downs of putting the Bucs in position to avoid third and long and that they're impatient on offense and it's just pure drop back and, and they just didn't see a lot of creativity from them. So I think people are surprised by that because you, you think about Bruce Arians as a guy that, that can be creative on offense and put his guys in position to succeed, but the thought around the league is maybe they're just not doing enough and asking maybe a little too much of Tom Brady to just drop back from center and fire it downfield over and over again. I mean, uh, you know, you're watching the Rams on doing pre-snap motion all night, and you don't really don't see much of that from Tampa Bay. And I think people are surprised that there's not more um, more interesting elements to that offense. So, so, Jeff, let's talk about that. As you're watching it, how much of it is players and how much of it is plays? How much of it is Brady and how much of it is what they're not doing right to put him in a position to succeed? Well, I think, I think Dan makes a great point about putting him in the position. But at the, at the end of the day, you, when the plays are there to be made, you have to make them. And the underthrows for the interceptions that Brady is doing, it's one thing to miss a throw. It's another thing to, to turn the ball over, right, and not protect the football. And everybody understands Bruce Arians has always been a five-step, seven-step, hey, we're going to chuck that thing down the field and, and, and make plays. When Brady went there, he understood what was going to be asked of him. The problem is if you're going to miss, you, you, you can't miss with a turnover, right? And so there's things he's not seeing in the defensive backfield, but, but to Bruce Arians is going to have to help Tom Brady because he's showing you what's going to, it's going to look like in the future. You've got to give him more intermediate routes. You've got to help him out. And here's the other point, Green. they got to run the football. You know, they, they bring in Rojo and they have Fournette. At some point, you've got to establish a run and be physical to take the pressure off of Brady somewhat. So they find themselves... At this point, the Buccaneers in a whole world of hurt. In the NFC South, that feels as though it may be getting hopelessly away now. They're just battling to make sure they get into the playoffs. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.